Hey, good day, Nikki here, and I am so excited to share not only a little bit of time with you guys, but also sharing Laura's passion. So I am hanging out with Laura Hanaski today, the co-owner of Premier Medical Staffing Services, and we're gonna find out a little bit about her. So Laura, tell me about your background and how you came about being the owner of Premier Medical. Um, yeah, it was very simple, actually. Uh, Mark and I um, really made the decision. We wanted to be our own business owners. We both come from healthcare backgrounds. We, um, I've been, I was a nurse, and my husband was respiratory therapy, and we met working for an Aurora facility, and um, we we worked with really good agency staff, and we worked with really poor agency staff. And at that time, we decided that we wanted to create an, an agency and an environment where we could choose only the best of the best to work in and and be in those environments to take care of our, our community. And I hear some of the clients that you guys started the company out with many moons ago was in government. So now the organization has a niche within federal and correctional state government contracts. Mm -hmm. But then you started a division to help with our active and um, coming out of active duty soldiers. Tell me about that. Right. So when we got our government contract, we worked a lot with the Department of Defense. We worked a lot with VA hospitals, um, corrections, which is still a big line of service for us, um, and Indian reservations. So um, it gave us our national presence, which at the time um, we didn't really know was going to turn into everything that it has today. So um, thus the travel division. But um, starting out with the Department of Defense, um, wanting to hire our soldiers as they're coming off of active duty, there's so many skilled and talented um, medical professionals coming out of the service. However, they aren't allowed to get credentialed or licensed during their time on active duty. So when they come out, it's one of the areas that, that they're not job ready. Um, if they go into IT or um, industrial work or different kinds of security or whatever, you come out being able to get a job. Um, and healthcare is so mandated on the civilian side, um, these, these folks really struggle and they often end up going into different types of backgrounds. So Heroes for Healthcare is a nonprofit that we created to help our soldiers maintain their um, background in healthcare. Um, we help them get the credentialing, finish any schooling they need, um, help them in job placements with all of the prep work for a job, um, resume writing, interview skills. So we go down a list of services that we provide um, to help them become job ready in our healthcare field. So how can people watching this video help with the Heroes for Healthcare non-for-profit division? Um, we're always looking for volunteers. Uh, we put uh, multiple um, events on throughout the year that volunteers are um, certainly um, a big asset to us. You can come in and help make phone calls, um, volunteer that way in the office. You can um, certainly donate. We do donate a, lot, a fair amount of money to our soldiers. Um, some of the um, funding that they have covers credits doesn't cover books, doesn't cover their life while they're going back to school if they're supporting a family, it doesn't, you know, it just strictly covers credits. And so, although that's a great perk to have, um, there's a lot of loose ends that they need help with financially that we help our soldiers with. And are you helping soldiers of all different backgrounds or is it primarily the healthcare niche that you're staying within for these Heroes for Healthcare Division? We're staying within healthcare. However, it's soldiers, um, veterans, um, people who want to get, you know, people who have served at one point or another who are trying to get into the healthcare um, realm. Um, it's a really great job opportunity. Uh, Wisconsin has so much to offer. Um, our healthcare industry, there's a shortage. Um, they're looking for these men and women because of their, their high acuity skill sets. So um, we're, we're really trying to um, bring everybody back and keep them in, in our healthcare world. And you've already touched so many lives, so we appreciate that. Thank you. And if you guys want to donate or get in touch with Laura, we're going to put the information below to the Heroes for Healthcare, not only their Facebook page, but our company page as well. So you can get in the know about all of their current and upcoming events, as well as charitable donations that you can do. So make sure you reach out to us. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.